debris source. Well, we have done some uh, pretty cool simulations here, but how to source out some more detail, like little debris being emitted by that? That's what I'm going to see here. So we have the same setup we use in the, this video up here. Just click the link if you want to see it. And that's going to be the base, our dynamic work for the debris. So just to have like a clean workflow, let's drop here a geo node and let's fetch that information of simulation for that node. And uh, so we can work from there. So we just put like a DOP import. And on a DOP network, we just go back there and that's going to import the result, the output of that node. We pick here fat unpack geometry. So now we have actually the real geometry, not only the centroid and the transformation information here, so we can work with it. So let's drop here the debris source node, and that's that's the start of this video. And the way it works is uh, pretty simple. It's a simulation because it's based on the previous frame, and it's pretty much get the initial frame there of simulation and start to see the distance between those points and when the distance increase uh, it start create those sourcing points for source of debris so those are the parameters that we have there and you can see those are all source for emitting uh, maybe a pop network something like that for emitting debris and we can adjust in lifespan how long they want them to last and we have the edge debris so they're going to emit debris out of the edge of the geometry, we have the source, uh, the surface debris that you emit from the surface, you're not usually what happened. And you can see with the search radius, uh, how much, you know, the, the piece needs to be apart before it started emitting those points. So this is the overview of the debris source node, and uh, it's a very simple one. So thanks for watching, and until next time.